3.23 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and we have some breaking news here. Bitcoin is on the verge of coming back within this broken ascending triangle. Nothing's happened yet. This is an absolutely, and I want to make sure I say this appropriately, this is an absolutely expected pullback after breaking a bear flag ascending triangle. This is where all of YouTube again has got their fucking... Oh my God, we're breaking down. It's over. Just not understanding the honest pattern and not being honest with the communities. I guess that maybe they can't be honest because they have no clue what the hell is going on. So now they're all screaming dump, but what are they not mentioning? We had a bear flag that we broke out of and now we're back testing right now. As long as we hold 21,600 area, I say 21,000 to me. You got to hold this 20 day in here, but you could come down to like 21,500 area, maybe a little bit lower and still technically, but you don't want to play this bear flag out. If the bear flag plays out, it's plain bearish. It's a bear pennant. It'll play to the side it's going towards. The only way to avoid this and invalidate this pattern is to break out and back test here and then bounce up to here and try to fill out the bigger pattern, which would get you up to about 26K with the way it's trending right now, 26.3. So as long as this bull flag isn't invalidated, we still got a move to go. And I'm not going to come on here and lie to you and say, oh, we're going down when it's absolutely not 100% the case. Because in my opinion, I think we still have to have a little chivalry before they have this little reading on the 26th, I believe, is when they uh, do the next rate hike. And the other thing is, is if it's 75 points, it's, it's going to be a lot different than if it's you know, 100 basis points, we have to see. But I still think they have to have one more pump. I don't think this is the whole pump. I think a lot of people are expecting it to break down right now. A lot of YouTube's calling for it because they got their heads cut off like chickens. And now we've already broken down. So they're like, oh, it's time to break down. I'm going to say not so fast, sweetheart, because look at that sell volume. Does that look like to you volume that's going to get you out of the area or just enough volume to retrace and get a bunch of weak hands out before the final move of this pump? I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't tell you that. But what I can tell you is right now it's absolutely doing everything it needs to do to break up. If it holds the ascending triangle bear flag, I don't want it to, but I'm going to spit it straight to you. Even though I want it to be bearish, I want it to go down, I want it to get it over with so we can start putting our long bags to use. I'm going to tell you right now it's got about a 50% chance to break up just in the formation. If the bull flag plays out is a big question. Now, if it breaks 21,500, it's going to invalidate this pattern, this bull flag, and then you're just done. Unless it makes a second breakout attempt, which is very uncommon after this kind of a move. So, I would be watching that for today. See if it actually does continue this breakdown. What makes me somewhat suspicious that we might be able to start putting in a long position, maybe for a day or two, or do something for a quick swing trade. Or leverage trade, depending on what you do, because I'm trying to reach everybody. Look at that sell volume. Does that look like enough sell volume to bring us out of the area? We're going to have to see some kind of a push here, because to me, that looks like a trap. This looks like a bear trap on this drop. So, XRP Future Millionaire, make sure to hit that motherfucking like button, because I'm going to show you things nobody else can. Even if they wanted to, they wouldn't know how. So, look at the pattern. Look at the pattern as we're filling this out. This is a bigger pattern that will eventually fill out even from these areas like if you want to break it whoops shit i don't even know what one that was i'm taking all these off i thought was the point of those so we're playing out in that falling channel bear flag whatever you want to call it right there and honestly right now it's a bull flag this is a bull flag right now and until xrp breaks the integrity of the bull flag to me it looks like we could be creating a sneaky Gartley reversal. That's just me. Well, Tom, if that happens, and now, like I said, I want XRP to go down. I want it to go down because I want this to be over so that we can start buying our fucking long bags and everybody can. But right now, we're going to have to be honest with ourselves. If we can get a hold here, we still have quite the bounce that can come. That's what I'm saying. This is not off the table yet because we are, in my opinion, until we're not, Working on a sneaky cup and handle here that I continue to keep saying can get you to one of these levels and maybe even bounce you up into here. So we're going to see right now what the hell is going on. Keep following me for the daily updates because if they're not giving you them like this, 
What's the point? If you're not on it every step of the way, what's the point? And if your audience doesn't know what's going on at every moment, how the hell are they supposed to trade? XRP Future Millionaire, make sure to hit that like button. Join me over on Telegram, but in order to do that, you have to support me, $9.99 a month. I give that out for the ones who show me that extra support, and it keeps all the spammers out. It's as simple as that. I tried to go the free route. I got taken advantage of, and what the fuck's the point of that for me? So I needed to make it to where the real people are in there. So when you put your money where your mouth is, that's how you do it. So that's what we're looking at. And if we can hold the support at about, what is the support that I have right here? That thirty-four ninety-five. I can't believe that that's what's playing right now. That's that pivot point right here, and it actually is that what it's using? That's a bearish Gartley right now. If it pulls up from there, so just pay attention to what I'm saying.